Hey, welcome back to a, uh, another Novatech how-to video here. Um, it's one of my first ever part two um, how-to videos, actually. We did a video about two years ago talking about how to how to get dual monitors, basically. Um, a lot of people didn't know that you need a discrete graphics card, a standalone GPU to be able to do this. So we talked to you about how to install that graphics card, what sort of connections or connectors you need for the monitors, and from there. Um, some people commented on the video to say, well, what do you do after that? After you installed it, what do I do next? So here we are. Thought it'd be a nice little video to show you how to set the monitors up on the screen, etc. What sort of settings you can play around with. So at the moment, I have my graphics card installed. I have two HDMI cables connected in the back of that. Both HDMI other end into the monitors. So I right click on the uh, desktop here, click on display settings. And now you can see both my monitors here. So one is on one on the left. Two is the one on my right. The best way to check that is to click this button here, identify, left click on that, and in the bottom left corner, it will tell you which monitor is which. Obviously my one's on my left, my two's on my right. Happily, that's perfect. If for some reason it's the other way around like that, and you identify and your one's on your left and your two's on your right, but there it says two's on the left, just do what I just did there. Click on and drag. You can play around with those and always apply afterwards. Obviously I didn't have anything to apply there, so I did it quite quickly. Um, a bit bigger to come down here um, obviously the scale and layout 100% recommended some people like to zoom in more I always go with the recommended settings to be honest but if you do zoom in more you can there go from there and you can set that to eat to whichever monitor you want let's scroll back out obviously at the moment the one on my left number one here is my main monitor the best way to do that is down here make this my main display if you want it, that number two to be your main display, just click on that down here and click on there. The display resolution tells you what the resolution is on. Obviously, at the moment, I've got one 1440 monitor on my left and a 1080 on the other. So, obviously, that's my recommended resolution. So that's what I'm going with. The display orientation here, landscape portrait. Some people who have more than one monitor, for example, you have a third monitor and you'll rotate it 90 degrees. Um, so then you can have it uh, vertically and it's like a list, a lot of uh, developers, coders, that sort of thing, people viewing long documents would tend to do that. So you can click, click on one monitor up here, change that to portrait and away you go. So you can do it to one, two or all of them if, if that's your setup you desire. At the moment you can see my scroll here on the left, I drag that along. When it hits the end, it now goes onto my other monitor. The reason this is done is because it's multiple displays here is set to extend these displays. So the monitors extend all the way along. So if you have three monitors, it'll keep going all the way along. If you want to duplicate what's on one monitor to the other, left click here and click duplicate these displays. If you like, if that's what you want, you can now see a uh, preview. Obviously it will return to uh, previous display desk settings there or keep changes. So now I can see exactly what's on my left monitor is the same on my right monitor. I'm going to turn that to what it was. And to see what the monitors are connected to, if you left click here, advanced display settings, it'll tell you which monitor is which. So my display one is my Aorus monitor and display two is my BenQ monitor. Here it tells me what they're plugged into. So that's my graphics card and their resolution there. Some people, if I minimize this quickly, so your start bar is down here. You can have a start bar on both monitors. If you, here, this is locked all, so I right click on there, lock all task bars. If I unclick that, you can then drag this one on the left here. I can make it smaller if I wish. Lock that in. And on my right monitor, you can then do the same to there. So I can. My right monitor, I'll show you on here. So the start bar is on the right, on that right monitor, and on the left, on the left monitor. You can have it at the top if you want, have it at the bottom, either way. You can do whichever you want with it. Hopefully that's giving you a, a quick rundown. If you can't see, if you can't see any monitors, like you plug one in and it's not showing up, come here and click detect. If you didn't detect another display, it means your cable is not plugged into the right place, it's not showing up. 
So you have to do a bit of uh, troubleshooting on to see why that is. Thank you very much. If you have any tricks or tips for you want to share, let us know in the comments below. But yeah, thank you very much.